Hey guys, Jagus here. This is Jagus Reviews. All right, we are going to do a quick speaker battle. It's going to be against the Zila S79 and the Raycon the Power Boombox. So the Raycon the Power is the size of a JBL Extreme 3 and all of those. And as you can see, so is the Zila or Zealot. I don't know how exactly to pronounce that, but you're definitely going to know which one is packing a better punch. So the Raycon is, I think, around 30 or sorry, like $43 on Amazon. The Zealot is about 120 on Temu. So about three times the price, something like that. But I wanted to face the Zealot off against the Raycon, the UE Epic Boom, a couple of those size speakers just to get it out of the way that it's either better or not. And then we can test it up against some of the bigger speakers since technically this is the size category it should be in, but I think that it hits harder than these in its size category. And I will be getting another JBL Extreme 3 uh, very shortly, probably in like a week, and I'll put it up against that. When the Extreme 4 comes out for the US, I will most likely also get that. So we're starting on both at 50%, starting with the Raycon, or sorry, yep, yeah, actually, my bad. We are starting with the Raycon, and we are gonna start this. Raycon is bass boost, Zealot is the regular EQ. Zealot. You will never understand what you put me through, and you never be a good lover. A good lover. At first, I believe I was a lucky one. Raycon. So the Raycon's quite a bit more quiet. Let's go ahead and bump it up. It's about to 70%. That's closer. Zealot? Bump the Raycon up. Let's see. 90%. Zealot. Let's go up. I already gave you my love once But now I'm fed up gonna take it all back Cause we're a no-go I know that I do better so low So move along the God and shadow Better get it right this time I will Zealot? Let's go ahead and 
stay on the zealot. We're gonna do forklifts by Dylan. Kind of see how the bass is kicking. We're gonna take the Raycon up to 100% and the zealot to about 80%. Um, because the zealot can go louder, so I just want to keep them about the same level. But Raycon will be at its maximum. Uh, starting with the zealot, and let's go. Let's do one more song, Make Your Mind Nightcap. Lots of lyrics, lots of good booms in it. Um, we're still at about 80%, 78, 80% with the Zealot, and 100% with the Raycon. We're still on the Raycon. Let's go. <laughs>
All right, guys, I am going to stop it there. So I think that gives us a good representation. So I actually should have kept the Zealot probably at about 70%. It's actually quite a bit louder at 80%, and I wasn't realizing that till that song. But the Raycon is not a bad speaker. It does get, you know, closer to the same loudness as speakers in its size category but there's not a lot of bass. However, for $43, I still think it's a great buy. If you don't have a lot of money and you need something with some bass, some treble, not too bad a sound, some good RGB lights and that kind of a thing, it's still not a bad buy at all. The Zealot, on the other hand, it obviously you could tell with putting it up against this speaker, it absolutely destroyed it. Uh, there's tons more bass. It sounds way more full, way more robust. The highs are there. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with the Zealot. Like I've said, I've heard really bad things about it. As long as you don't keep it in bass boost mode. Honestly, guys, it sounds really good to me. I'm actually really loving it. So Raycon, it absolutely destroys. It is absolutely three times better. Hence, you know, the price difference than the Raycon. But we're going to put it up against the UE Epic Boom next. Ultimate Ears Epic Boom. So that one I put up against like the Sony XB43 and stuff. And I think it gets closer to about what like the JBL Extreme 3, the Sony XG300, those kinds of speakers, you know, the better in class of these size speakers can do. Like I said, the Zealot does have a... It's got a great volume to it. It is definitely louder than these size speakers, but it is the size of like the JBL Extreme 3 and the Raycon. So it's pretty dang impressive for its size. I will be taking it up against these bigger speakers eventually. I just wanted to knock out these speakers that are in its size category first so that everyone knows it is obliterating these speakers. That is why we're putting it up against speakers two times as big, you know, like the JBL Extreme or Boombox 2, 3, the Encore, the Skull Candy Barrel XT, all of that kind of stuff. But thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see next. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again.